to continue 22 years on a pilgrimage around the world since that well since I met that woman my former wife who shall be nameless back in 1990 through our horses she was abused by her father and Mr. Bruin who's now died who was in the lower ranks in the Royal Air Force but used to train the SAS to kill people and he abused her and she, my former wife, is in denial. So my former wife then, she had been married before me and I knew the chap, divorced him, latched on to me with money and a house and a job and all the rest of it, a nice computer company actually and all the rest of it and as soon as the child was conceived, Robert Francis, he became known as, on Tuesday the 5th of March 1992, he was born on Thursday the 12th of November 1992, 10am full breech birth, so two weeks planned caesarean, otherwise as Mr. Fordry the surgeon at the Central Milton Keynes General Hospital said, as he popped out, I do these in Africa and the woman and child would die with breech birth means the bum's coming first so <coughs> can't get out and the woman just strains and strains and trains till she dies and obviously the child dies if you can't turn them with forceps my family are medical mother with a maternity sister for heaven's sake okay those are the medical details there we are so I know what I know and I am what I am, and I am nothing. So that is the sum total of my achievements in this world, so far. There's nothing other than that that's real. My films are just little films, nothing. And I'm 56. So I found myself thinking about this. And... What came to mind was that if there are now 7,000 million human beings in this world, plus, and God says to me, you follow me and not the world, then I will follow God. Even if it means being utterly alone, I've got two feral cats to visit, and the robin, and the blackbird. So that's why I'm alone. The Church of England's my background. I can see it from here. It won't show up on the, this little camera, but I can physically see St. Michael and Wolfads from this window. <coughs> They're hypocrites. I've been on about that before. Roman Catholics, whoa, whoa can't join them. <laughs> Jehovah's Witness, Quakers are like, but they've gone west as well. You know, they're inclusive now. They have Diwali and, you know, mix and match. George Fox, the founder of the Quakers, his dates are 1800 and 24 to 1800 and, that's, as we were, 1624 to 1686. George Fox, the founder of the Quakers, <coughs> absolutely utterly no shadow question of a doubt he was a Christian what the Quakers get up to now is sort of a bit of wish wash have a bit of that bit of that oh yes all inclusive I am a jealous God thou shalt have no other gods but me saith the Lord here comes the Sun beautiful right so that's the plot so far as far as I'm concerned but, you see, this is the joy for me, that I know that my Redeemer liveth through this broken marriage. So the sorrow is for my son, but I have this rock-solid faith, and all I want to do is share it, to let this light, the light of Christ within me, to shine in this dark world. And I've been given through these 22 years of personal suffering an unshakable unquestioning faith of holy obedience I know that my Redeemer liveth 
I have no doubt. And I'm sure that God will put me to his service in his time, in his way, quite sure. In my lifetime, this I know. Amen. The sun up rising, man. <laughs> Daylight comes and he won't go home. Daylight comes and he won't go home. Not a home, not a home, but a home. Too loud. <laughs>